Sixty Second Adventures in Thought. Number three, the Chinese room. Can a machine ever be truly called intelligent? American philosopher and Rhodes scholar John Searle certainly can. In 1980, he proposed the Chinese Room thought experiment in order to challenge the concept of strong artificial intelligence, and not because of some 80s design fad. He imagines himself in a room with boxes of Chinese characters he can't understand and a book of instructions which he can. If a Chinese speaker outside the room passes him messages under the door, Searle can follow instructions from the book to select an appropriate response. The person on the other side would think they're chatting with a Chinese speaker, just one who doesn't get out much. But really, it's a confused philosopher. Now, according to Alan Turing, the father of computer science, if a computer program can convince a human they're communicating with another human, then it could be said to think. The Chinese room suggests that, however well you program a computer, it doesn't understand Chinese, it only simulates that knowledge, which isn't really intelligence. But then sometimes humans aren't that intelligent either.